Hi everybody, it's Whitney here from the Mansfield Public Library and today we're going to be making the Sharpie and rubbing alcohol coaster. Um, so bear with me while I turn my camera around and we'll get started. Okay, here we go. Let's see. All right, hopefully you can all see this. That might be better. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the directions. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> so what's in the kit? First off, what's in the kit is your coaster. I'm, I'm showing you the back of it first because I've already colored the other side. So, but trust me, the other side's nice too. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we've got the coaster. Uh, we've got an eyedropper. We've got three Sharpies. You'll have a small container of rubbing alcohol. You will also have a small container of Mod Podge. You have a paintbrush. And you have a small cup. What you will need is a damp paper towel, a dry paper towel, tin foil, and if you have it, a small box. And we'll go over why the small box is helpful in a moment. So first off, we want to take our wet paper towel and just wipe the, the top of the tile. Um, just give it a couple of wipes and then you're going to take your dry paper towel and just dry it off and then you're going to start to color your tile with the sharpies and so here's mine so I just took some random well I took my three sharpies and made some random designs um, and then that's what I came up with this is actually my second tile and I'll, I'll show you the first one in a minute um, so now, so just take your time and, and just make some fun designs on your tile. And uh, it will dry pretty quickly because it's a Sharpie. <laughs> um, so now, also before, uh, before you do start coloring, if you have your own Sharpies and want to put more colors in, go for it. I think the more colors, the better. Um, and don't worry if, you know, if it gets, if your tile looks messy, it will look even better or cooler with the, once we drop the alcohol into it. So, um, so color your Sharpie and then we're going to, and this is where the small box can be useful. <laughs> so we're going to use it like a working tray. So I'm going to put my directions over on the side for a second and so I'm going to fit fit my tin foil into into the box and I'm going to take the paper cup and turn it upside down and put it right in the center of the box next we're going to place the tile right on top of the cup just like that and now we start dripping the alcohol. So let's see. So just take a, a squeeze of it with the eye drop, just like this, and just gently start dropping it onto the tile. Go do a little bit at a, t at a time because um, you want the designs to to you want to actually make designs rather than just wash all the color off with the alcohol. Um, I say that 
from experience. So here we go. And this is why this box comes in handy because if you drip on the side a bit and you have to pick up the tile, um, you won't get a lot of Sharpie on your fingers. I did and it's probably gonna take days for this to come out. <laughs> Um, yeah, just keep dripping one little drip at a time, but it's counting, it's coming out very interesting. If you see any area on your tile that's got white on it, then just kind of drop a little bit on there. Um, yeah. I also noticed with uh, darker Sharpie colors that um, it was harder to to get rid of the the lines that the Sharpie made um, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like with with lighter colors so now I don't know if you can see this it's starting to collect over on the end here which is fine again this is why this tray is perfect because you just gently lift it and let it drip down so again you're just making more designs it's kind of it's, there we go look at that look at that drip down that's pretty cool i'm actually really happy with how this is coming out but i do see some dry area so there it is. I'm going to take just a little bit more alcohol and put it on the edge. See that? There we go. One more drop. That should do it. Okay. So this really needs to dry well. Um, but alcohol dries quickly, so I would give it I would give it about 40 minutes maybe even an hour just to be safe because i'm going <clears> to <throat> show you what happened when i was too impatient um so again let that sit and then so this is the first tile that i made um i use dark colors and i'm not sure if you can see it's hard it's hard to see where the lines are because um because I used a lot of alcohol in this too, so it kind of washed out the, the tie-dye look a bit. But because I was so impatient and wanted to get this dry, um, I, I put the, we're gonna use Mod Podge as a sealer, and I was just, I wanted to get it on there really quickly. So I took just a little bit of Mod Podge and I took my my uh, paintbrush, and I noticed that when I was putting it on, it started to to drip, take the color with it. I don't know if you can see that. So then I thought that it actually kind of looked interesting with the um, almost like waves, the squiggly lines. So so I made. The squiggly lines with it. I don't know if you, there you go. Maybe you can see that. Um, and I really like that. It gives it just a little bit of texture, um, and it seals the color in to the tile. So that's that's it. Um, I'm just gonna let my other tile dry, and I'll put more Mod Podge on it. Again, you can either go straight down or give it some squiggly lines if you find that it's the color is is going with the uh, glue um, and like I said I just I really like how that actually came out um, so there's that um, so that is the sharpie and rubbing alcohol coaster um, I hope you have fun with it um, you will like I said you might get a little messy as you can see my fingers are have some Sharpie on them. Um, but it's it's a really fun project. Um, 
you know, you can give it as a gift to someone. I'm definitely going to be keeping this in my office um, to, to have my coffee or my water with, um, but I might give the other one to someone. We'll see. <laughs> um, I do wanna let you know that um, this take and make, the supplies for this project were made possible through CARES Act funding to the Federal Institute of Museum and Library Services as administered by the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners. Um, so along with your directions, there is a QR code that goes to a survey that is needed for this particular grant. So please, um, if you get a chance, please take a picture of the QR code and go uh, fill out the survey. It is very helpful, especially for future funding. Um, you will also, you should have also gotten an, e when you got the email reminder, I also sent um, a direct link to the survey. So again, please, please fill that out. Um, and also share pictures. I would love to see the designs and the, the coasters that you guys have made. Um, and that's it. Have fun, be creative, and enjoy. Bye, everybody. <laughs>